hi love as others have spent weeks preparing for some type of event such as the oscars or the med gala other people in other parts of the world are celebrating a shelter that has been given to them if you needed a reason to smile today take a minute and watch this video <laughs> The reason these women are celebrating and they're so happy and they're jumping for joy is because they get to move into their own shelters today. They're excited to move into this, to these temporary emergency shelters built out of a few materials because they were living outside and it rains every single night. So they were getting rained on. You see their little bit of babies on their back? They were sleeping outside. And because really generous and kind people like yourselves donated to Focus Congo, so we had the money to build them all these tents. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing what the collective can do when we all come to together and care? Some of you only donated like $5, it still made a difference. These people have their own homes. You see these smiles? You see these smiles? made of plastic and when it rains water still comes through the floor but that is their celebration and in other parts of the world they don't know if they're gonna be alive in the next few weeks or ever and in other parts of the world someone is on their last paycheck it almost feels dystopian unreal is this a movie because how can all these things be happening on one planet and that has been what's on the minds of many people my age where we are just so angry at what's happening in the world during our time and we are just so aware of it because these are the things that we've learned in our history books and i'm guessing people want to be a part of the solution at least be on the right side of history in fact i've actually wanted to talk about this topic for a long time how dystopian everything feels but then i was still starting out on my commentary channel i didn't know if people would actually understand what i was saying like i was not very confident but here we are we are going to compare the hunger games sort of dystopian world and compare it to real life but first let, let them eat, eat cake, cake. famous quote that is attributed to marie antoinette i hope i'm saying that correctly i am in france i should be able to pronounce that correctly but anyway, so as the legend story goes i guess not really legend but anyway that was queen marie antoinette's response allegedly because there's not really actual proof that she actually said this but as it's told that was her response when she was told that her peasants were starving and she was like well <laughs> eat cake if you can't find any bread why don't you just eat cake you know but anyway i further looked into the story in fact for one thing the original french phrase that marie Antoinette is supposed to have said is qu'il mange de la brochée doesn't really translate as let them eat cake it translates as well as let them eat brochée of course since brochée is a rich bread made with eggs and butter almost as, as luxurious as cake it doesn't really change the point of the story but the queen wouldn't have been referring to the sort of dessert that english speakers often imagine and also if you read further on on the whole story there's other rumors that she supposedly said that she didn't say that but was said to have said that to sort of um raise the propaganda to start the french revolution or to you know rile up the people um and also quote was also said earlier when she was younger but like a writer of which she wouldn't have been able to say that and be like heard because she was a kid so there's a whole lot of things but that's besides the point because i know there's people that always want to you know focus on that aspect of it like no she didn't actually say that. like no but no we are talking of a larger issue here so why did Haley bailey's let them eat cake get the people very angry let's talk about that so irregardless if queen El queen i was supposed to say queen elizabeth that's the only queen i've ever known really but anyway besides her allegedly saying that or not saying it whatever it is 
the quote has gone through throughout history as a symbolism of the obliviousness of the rich of the one percent them just not they cannot imagine a world that is not theirs they can't imagine why someone is poor or someone why or why someone is born of a certain nationality where there's always war happening they can't just it's just this lack of self-awareness and reading the room that is what the quote has now been associated with and to further explain that is when Kim Kim Kardashian came on our internet and said that people don't want to work anymore. No one wants to work. Your fucking ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You know, we work hard. They always using that word work, work, work. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, have you actually stepped out? People are working nine to five. In fact, not even nine to five, like 24 hours basically and they're still not being able to make ends meet so saying a statement as a rich person that you know just work hard hmm that's not that is giving very much Marie Antoinette <laughs> even though she didn't really say it but like is definitely giving that but anyway oh Hailey Bailey you had to use that sound I think that sound that that's really like the, the broke the I don't know what the saying is but it was the last stroll for the people because the whole Met Gala thing and um, the Oscars even it was just uncanny and I know I'm very much into um, American TikTok but also here in France I live I work near Cannes like I can see can and there's the Cannes festival coming up very soon i see them setting up and stuff like that i was actually coming from work today and saw that they're setting up but like the vibe of it it's not like in the previous years like it's really like nobody cares you know like you would be surprised the only thing that's just annoying is the traffic because you know they're like closing everything but like the actual usually there'll be just so many people just like watching even before it begins even before like it was just so much stuff but like my co-worker and i were talking we're saying that um and she was telling me that apparently the the me too movement is involved and by that i mean like one of the big producers whatever of movies are supposed to be there um was accused of something so like a lot of people aren't really feeling it so it's just little things like that are happening everywhere where celebrities uh, they're just getting on people's nose like no one like no we have more things to worry about basically but i think this just goes back a long time ago like not just right now i feel like this things has been building up and right now as what's happening in p and also in c let let me just play you this video so that they can explain it better protests are being held across london to raise awareness for congolese civilians but what is happening in Congo? The eastern region of Congo is suffering from a... Since 1996, over 6 million people have died and 7 million people have been displaced. Every hour, 48 women and children from as young as 5 years old are... Why is this happening? Congo is home to most of the world's natural resources. It produces 70% of the world's coltan which is necessary for the production of mobile phones and other electronic devices. This has led to world organisations and rebel groups such as M23 to exploit civilians in order to access these minerals. In a report by the United Nations, it was found that the M23 rebel group is supported by the Rwandan government. Today, civilians are still dying and homes are still being destroyed. So to follow the movement, spread awareness or keep up with any other protests going on, you can follow at Stand for Congo UK on Instagram. Pretty dystopian how whenever there's issues that affect black or African people, like no one cares, like literally no one. I remember how like a few months ago it was trendy to care about Congo. Now, like literally no one cares like at all. And it's just kind of weird to me because like, why is it when it's us, no one cares? Like we're at what, 7 million displaced and millions killed and nobody's concerned. This account right here, Papi Orion, is literally documenting this in real time on TikTok. So I've been following, I've been interacting, trying to do what I can. In the link in his bio, you can literally donate and actually make a real tangible change. Like you can even choose what you want your money to go towards. It's not just like throwing your money in a crapshoot with no idea where it's going. You can literally pick what you want your money to go towards. And just so y'all know, I put my money where my mouth is. I've also been donating when I can.
So please go and follow this guy and repost his stuff, even if you don't have money to donate. I feel like the negative two seconds it takes to repost a video really is not that difficult. So that you can even understand what's happening right now, if you had no idea. Yeah, that is a lot, right? So you have that happening, and you also have this economy crisis that's happening that's affecting everyone across board it doesn't matter where you are in the world things are just so tough like there's no you know uh, country that's like booming where everyone's just rushing to but like it's just difficult for everyone everywhere like people are literally living paycheck to paycheck i remember when i was new to social media and i was just doing advice videos i think i've talked about this before where i would make like videos like oh how to save money but i was still living with my parents like i was still like freshly out of high school what was i talking about of course i could save money i didn't have to pay rent <laughs> like i would work but like i didn't i didn't have i just did my own things you know i wasn't asked to contribute in the house or anything like that so i was very like oblivious of like what's happening and now that i got to be an adult and like you can't it's so hard to save money it's so hard to do anything with the amount of money that you are given so that's really tough and not to mention there is a femicide happening in south africa that's happening as the world is just consuming and becoming smaller and smaller by smaller and smaller i mean like we are able to just know what's happening in like five seconds what's happening in another side of the world because of our phones we just really getting to know each other's experiences and we are uniting in a way especially our generation i feel like in as much as we are divided and there's dis diaspora wars that happen at the end of the day we are definitely at a better stage than we were or that our parents were back then where uh there wasn't that much communication so we kind of understand each other in that way we know who the common enemy is which is the one percent the governments and all that kind of all those rich people but clearly the people that are closer to our proximity that we see often that are flaunting their wealth are the celebrities unfortunately they're at the front line and also seeing the celebrities and influencers all that kind of stuff in our faces showing us i remember like when this influencer was um showcasing the pr that she gets and she'll be just opening it up and throwing it away like that that like that doesn't that just like piss you off it's almost as if as this creator was saying i forgot his name but it's like it's almost inevitable that even the most relatable people that start out online as soon as they get rich and get into the rooms of the one percent they just switch suddenly they don't know what it is to be a peasant anymore like us they just they just can't imagine a life like like they'd be talking about things and you're just like weren't you living in a in a small little apartment before like why are you now acting as if it wasn't hard i think that's the thing like whenever people make it they believe then that everyone else can make it because they did you know um they just the other people just have to work as hard you know um it's such a, this capitalistic mentality that um that I, I don't know and sometimes i wonder because people will be like oh yeah uh, if i was rich then i would do this and this and that and i always wonder like but would you though because i feel like that's what everyone that's rich probably said before who wasn't as rich before like you hear you know people like um the rock you know you'd be talking about how he grew up you know all that and like why don't you then have the same sympathy for the people that are still in that situation you were once in like why can't you recognize that you are the 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 the, the loto the lucky one that got like i don't i'm getting off topic here i'm literally getting off topic anyway so with all that's happening the people said we are going to block y'all okay i don't know if you are on the same for you page as me but like there is a list of celebrities that are being written down and people are blocking them do i think this is gonna work let's wait we'll get into it <laughs> but anyway as that started to happen you got some celebrities and influencers now only start speaking about what's happening in the world not sponsored <laughs> it's not mm. but it's crazy right that only now like what's special was happening in congo that's been happening for years i was shocked i thought this is just now I don't know what's happening in Congo. It's been happening for a while. And one example is Lizzo. 
didn't she come on here a while ago and say that celebrities don't have that much influence and now she has influence to tell people about what's happening in gaza what make it make sense make it make sense that's very interesting and also other um content creators as well with, with really large platforms are coming out they, they even went after keith lee oh, keith lee zendaya those are like the cookie club like celebrities like the perfect you know but they're really gunning for everyone they're coming for everyone absolutely everyone. what i actually think about this whole thing this blocking of celebrities i am really afraid that it's gonna be one of those trends that die out it actually feels like it's dying out right now in like a week or two like people are gonna forget and be like i will never stop <coughs> stop loving you they can never make me hate you to their faves because that's that's always been the issue people are just so too much invested in the celebrities that they need that escapism from them right they want it but also at the same time they want to speak about these political issues but at the same time they want to escape by living through them living through their lives you know those type of things so i'm kind of afraid like i hope it actually works and does something and and it stays on track that people actually commit to doing this like i really hope it's not one of those trends do i think that it's gonna have an impact i think yes it's already having an impact i was actually quite shocked that kim kardashian has lost three million followers excuse me that is a lot of people that is a lot of people um hopefully more like what's happening <laughs> hopefully more um and other celebrities as well have lost some so i guess that's working and i watched a video of um of someone that works in like media to explain like how this whole thing works and how the algorithm works because i did see this uh content creator an african content creator talking about oh americans are hypocrite for doing this it's like nonsense not gonna work but like that's why i was like you know sometimes yeah this is why this diaspora was always coming up because sometimes you know as africans like we love to downplay things that they do overseas or downplay their activism but like, it's kind of like if they they are literally fighting for what their government uses their taxes for and that impacts the rest of the world you know so i don't like this whole thing of like oh uh, you know like i can't 100% be like oh it's it's um performative activism because in as much as some of it can be and some people may be just doing it for the sake of it's a trend it's actually going to impact either way you know what i'm saying but anyway i digress um and then there is the other aspect was like why are we focusing on celebrities we should be focusing on the politicians you know they are the ones that are in the rooms that are making the decisions to go into these different countries and take their resources all that kind of stuff that's who we should focus on 100 percent, 100 percent agree i do sometimes think that the people focus more on what celebrities are doing yes do that but also at the same time there are people directly linked to what's happening that we can protest to or i don't know i don't even know i don't know anything but like i just feel like and as much as celebrities have an impact politicians people in those rooms also have an impact there's elections coming all around the world like lots of countries are having their elections this year show up show up go and vote okay some of us have never been able to vote because i am zimbabwean lived in south africa my whole life can't vote i'm not a citizen there now i'm in france can't vote i'm not a citizen here so it's like if you're in your country please vote <laughs> like vote please um but like yeah there's also that um but is there money i feel like sometimes people would can't actualize the amount of money these people have when you hear that oprah has, has billions do you know how much change she can make with without her bank account feeling and anything you know like we can't actually actualize it because we've never met these people or been in proximity with money you can just never understand you know who i like is my jimbo see that's why i had a made, a made a whole video defending her because i like her she i hope she was telling the truth but she was like she pays 
she paid someone's school fees it's little things like that with your money did it hurt her anyway no it did not because that's the thing when you're overseas i'm in france here we use euros if i was like Haley bailey paying seventeen thousand euros for rent i could find an apartment that's half that and be able to school maybe 10 children back in zimbabwe pay the whole school fees until they finish high school i can do that without even blinking at it so that's the thing where it's like what are they using that money for for what really for what you know if not helping other people that's where it is the ethics of it all like you're just hoarding you're just hoarding and you want to come on here and, be, and, and sing us songs remember and sing us songs and go on these talk shows about how you've worked hard you don't get paid enough in in media whatever like girl please the downside to the whole blocking thing is kind of becoming like witch hunty kind of thing because i was reading in the comment section and some people are just like being like oh and also don't forget this person i have never liked them so it's almost like some people are using this as a way to just be jealous of people that they wish to be you know what i'm saying like they don't like a certain content creator who does lifestyle and they're like yeah they've never spoken up like you just don't like them you don't care about what's happening in the world you just don't like the certain person and that's why you're mentioning them to be a part of the block list and stuff like that like you don't yeah i think some some you know some intentions behind that as well can be a bit you know <laughs> now comparing the hunger games to what's happening now i wonder what my husband is making for dinner we'll see after this video see i'm filming at night see how committed i am yeah so i would definitely say that the capital you know where everyone who is lucky i guess lives there with the president i guess that would be then the celebrities and the rich people that we never see and we only get to hear of them once they go down to see the titanic that's where public the public knows who they are there are many of them by the way that are just rich and sitting in their wealth doing nothing for the actual world so i would say those are the people in the capital that you see in the movie that are just dressed so ridiculous and it's this tight niche community both ways that you can only get in if you sell your soul and when it comes to selling your soul and the whole idea people are always thinking like it's this whole like blood related or that kind of stuff but it's anyone can sell this so it's basically giving up your morals to gain some sort of richness whatever it is and the way that the people in the capital would you know dress so weirdly have their noses look odd you know all that kind of stuff all these procedures i like to see that as like how it is now with the whole ozempic thing people literally taking something that is needed by people with diabetes to make themselves skinny that is the most dystopian thing that i've ever heard of but that is actually happening people just doing what changing races like someone can look black and look asian the next day all this type of modifications on their body like that is definitely giving that or am i blind like it's almost like the rich are just so bored of looking normal they're looking for new excitements like uh yeah let's change my race today because it's so boring being like who i am let's eat uh, you know and before it would be like the rich people would eat this crazy expensive food that um the poor could not access or even think of but now it's kind of gone the opposite where the rich get the healthier food you see um when you're watching the celebrity you know house tours they'll be showing you their garden they're making their own organic this and this and that they're making their own eggs i don't know they're, i don't know but it's all organic things like that that the now majority can't get access to you know um which is which is just so crazy because i remember uh, living in zimbabwe like i'd never eaten fast food you know that was like for the rich zimbabwean people to me according to me because we would eat just like vegetables you know but now with climate change like yeah you know it's it's quite the opposite now you know the the the, the um 
to get this organic uh you know fruits and vegetables you have to be rich because it expires quickly so you have to get more and more and that's now a luxury only a certain type of people can get so yeah in fact this reminds me of this episode of black mirror called smithers something like that but it's of this guy um who has an accident because he was using this application uh that was addictive but the person that created it knows it's it's addictive but like you know lives in this uh you know isolating place and just like does yoga and like you know that's where it is where the poor people are you know addicted to these things that the rich people give us and they get to just like log off and be with nature like we can't even be that we the ones are living in the cities with no damn fresh air but like yeah that's what it reminds reminds me of but anyway we have then the districts right which is the majority of the people who are struggling so i think in the dish i forgot the names like i didn't really really feel like researching that much i mean the essay is already four pages like i was not but anyway let's just you know you know the districts right so there's others who are always winning the the hunger games right and i would say those are like the the middle class the middle class never really have any opinions they're like yeah everything's fine everything's fine because they you know they're they're benefiting kind of you know they have a proximity to being rich they've like they can see it happening where we have the other districts of never worn district 12 which is really the majority like 90 percent of people that are on earth who are just hardly making it by but i will also say that there's another district yeah which wins as well right actually i would say it's the middle class and the influencers which kind of make us feel like we can they kind of give us hope and they kind of make the system kind of look like it works you know like if you work hard you will be like this and this because you see Haley bailey she was a normie and now she's a part of that so that's making everyone else think that we also have a challenge so let's keep on supporting and creating content all that kind of because one day we're gonna reach there but like you really never do like not a lot of people don't make it and then there's the district that was like completely like uh non-existent because the capital like made it as an example which is it the district that was actually hiding underground with that lady with the with the white hair i think so but anyway i would say then the, those districts um in real life i guess are the countries that are being taken advantage of i guess by the most of the superpowers because it's almost like a reminder that people are still powerless and that the government really can just do whatever it wants with our taxes and we don't even know because they're distracting us again with this hunger games they're distracting us with the celebrities like we seem numb but like we need to wake up as they did when the 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 countless revolutions were happening we need to wake up and i wonder what is preventing us from doing that i could also say maybe president snow in real life are the elites that we've never seen that are in charge of everything that su that suppress people that tell the truth because you always hear these people that are telling you know the supposed truth and exposing they're always uh looked at as crazy or they don't know i'm not talking about kenya waste i'm not no no <laughs> but like in general people that have just talked about the truth even like some preachers as well that have exposed you know whatever evil that happens they never listen to and there's some celebrities that do speak about these issues they are blackballed so it's kind of like him when he was you know when he wanted to make um katniss the example he wanted to take that hope away um that if you you know speak out there's going to be consequences and i think some of the the celebrities are have some sort of contract or signed or something they know that if they speak out about these things that um they're going to be blackballed but then that's the thing like would you rather just live normal because they're not gonna take all your money like no like you probably like you know live a low life um but i guess they're not willing to give that up but anyway in the words of katniss we have power okay she didn't actually say that but i was gonna say it at the end we as individuals have so much power than we think you have some power we can make a difference we really can in numbers we definitely can so if you burn Wait, if we burn, you burn with us. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. Anyway, 
so I came on the internet with no makeup. <laughs> That's why you know it's serious business. No need for makeup. No, 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 no. But anyway, skin. It's looking okay. I hope that this video was sort of informative for you. <sighs> but anyway, this is where we are. Um. See you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.